your boy, Jada King Hefner and the beautiful Cali Sun, and we're back again for another show, and the title of this episode is Know Your Brand. Know Your Brand. And what do I mean by that? We'll get to that right about now. Before we get started, we'd like to congratulate Kevin Gray on becoming the first male member of the Dog King Army team. We really appreciate you, and now, back to the show. Hey guys, I'm back again with the beautiful Queen Callie, and the title of today's show is Know Your Brain. And I got the idea to do this show because so many people have reached out to me when they get a new dog. And when I ask them, what brand is it? They have no idea. And that always blows my mind. When you're spending your hard earned money on one of these beautiful girls, you need to know where she came from. If anything goes wrong, you want to know what brand was responsible. That way, you know what company was responsible for the product that's in your home. Each brand has a different way of doing things. They mix their TPE different. They make their silicone dolls different. They do all their processes a little bit different from the other. If your vendor can't tell you what brand your dog came from, that's a very bad sign. I've had so many guys come up to me saying, I got a big booty Belinda dog. I got a petite Sasha dog. Oh, I got a light-skinned Lily dog. Those are not brand names. Those are descriptions of dogs, not their brand. When you go to buy a car, you usually have some idea of what brand you're looking for. If a salesman came out and said, hey, I have a car for you. It's red with four doors and it's pretty wide. But what brand is it? Ah, who cares? It's just a car. You don't need to worry about the brand. You'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I do need to worry about the brand. It matters who manufactured this car. You want to know who would be responsible if anything broke down. If nothing else, you would learn what company you don't want to deal with anymore if you had a bad experience. You can always tell your vendor, I don't like that brand or that brand or that brand. You don't want to be stuck in a situation where you're saying, hey, I don't want another big butt jacket dog. What? In most cases, when you're shopping for these dogs on any reputable dog website, when you start scrolling down right before you see the price, you'll see what brand your dog is. I just feel you work too hard for your money not to know what you're paying for, especially once you start getting into the $1,300 to $3,000 range for these dogs. I was on a live stream recently and one of my great viewers had spent over $2,000 on a new dog. The problem was he did not know what brand it was. Luckily, I was able to find out that it was a WM dog that he purchased, but I don't want any of you spending that type of money without knowing exactly what you're paying for. You worked hard for your money and you deserve to know. So. Before you hit buy, make sure you find out what brand you're buying. And if you cannot find the brand, it's a bad sign. Remember, the Big Butt Jacket Dog or the Pretty Petite Sarah Dog are not brand names. You're looking for Piper, WM, Sino Dog, San Huey, and things of that nature. I'm not telling you to get either one of those brands. I'm just giving you an example of what you need to look for, a legitimate brand name. That's the trick of eBay. Most people that get a dog off eBay have no idea where their dog came from. They are always marketed with these vague names. 
That's because a large percentage of those dogs are coming from shady warehouses or they're getting product that has been discarded by great brands. You can get lucky every blue moon off of eBay, but I wouldn't recommend it. I've had people say, I got a WM doll off eBay. And I say, did you get a certificate? Because WM required you to have a certificate. And they won't know what the hell I'm talking about. Don't get so anxious that you don't do the research. I don't want you to waste your time and money on a bad product. So know your brain so you can trace the bloodlines of your dog. If there's any problem, you know which manufacturer was responsible. And if you have a great vendor and something goes wrong, they can communicate to their manufacturer and get everything taken care of. You may even decide you didn't like that particular brand and you can avoid it in the future. But if you don't know that brand, you don't know which brand to avoid. So, keep your guards up. When you're buying one of these beautiful ladies, make sure you know your brain. So, with all that said, we really love for you guys to throw subscriptions and notifications. But as of right now, it's been me, Jada Akeem Hefner, and the beautiful Callie Sun. We are